<sighs> All right. Ozone in the stratosphere blocks dead bee. But CFCs and aerosols and other products have pinned the ozone layer. Evidence of this in the ozone hole that forms over the South Pole every Antarctic spring as temperatures drop below minus 78. Below minus 78, the temperature in which ozone depletion occurs. I don't understand. How is this if this seems to weaken? This seems to weaken the statement. If you're telling me that now CFCs can break the ozone layer, now, you're, now in the red, you're telling me, well, actually, anytime you go below minus 78, the ozone layer also depletes. I don't know how how is the how is the evidence for the blue and the red? <clears throat> Struggling a little bit on that one. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Measurements of the ozone layer are taken at various times. <clears throat> Is the ozone how is that every Antarctic spring, if it falls below minus 78, the temperature at which ozone depletion occurs? I don't understand. How is the red? You're telling me the evidence of the fact that CFCs and aerosols have thinned this layer is the ozone hole that forms every South Pole, every, every spring as temperatures drop below minus 78, the temperature at which ozone depletion occurs. I see, I think the own, maybe prior to CFCs doing any damage, I think what happens is when the temperature in the Antarctic spring was below minus 78, the ozone depletion happened, but there was no ozone hole. Now there is a there is an ozone hole. Given we are using <clears throat> CFCs, plus when the temperature goes really really low. So <clears throat> measurements of the ozone hole taken at various times. This spring show that compared with various, this area diminished by four. Measurements of the ozone hole taken at various times this spring show. Show various times show that its area diminished by four million. I can't even read through the statement, to be honest with you. Measurements of the ozone hole taken at various times of spring show that its area, so the ozone hole, <laughs> that seems contradictory, diminished by four. So isn't that a good thing? Isn't this, isn't this contradictory? How 
how is the ozone hole so small uh, so small if aerosols are responsible <clears throat> Nevertheless, I have not concluded that the. Aha, uh -huh. so. <clears throat> okay. So the conclusion as well, even though it's diminished by 4 million square kilometers, it, I'm not concluded that the ozone layer is in recovering. Why? Why not? I mean, the ozone layer, the ozone hole, sorry, is smaller by, smaller by 4 million square kilometers. That's really strange to me personally. And why do you even need any of this? I mean, why can't you just say this part, measurements of the ozone hole must be tried to, which of the following provides a stronger reason, reaction to the measurements? Mm -hmm. So maybe it was a one-time issue, it's an outlier. Maybe maybe something else took place. Maybe, uh, maybe some, some, uh, maybe, maybe this year, some pre. Uh, why are scientists saying that? Well, maybe, maybe it's a maybe it's a one-time outlier. Maybe it's a maybe something else. Something else was happening that canceled the effects of. CFCs this year. Maybe the climate is maybe something else is also contributing nearly. Who knows? The ozone size every year for the past except this year. Yeah, I like that. I mean, yeah, I it's an outlier here yeah, sometimes. The length, the length of time that ozone hole persists. Measurements taken at various times this spring show that compared with the same times the previous year. So you're comparing year to year. Yeah. So why, <clears throat> why is why is it when you compare year to year? So. Let's say spring, let's say Feb, 20, let's say Jan 1st, 20, no, Jan 2nd, 2022 to Jan 1st, 2021. Let's say it was three, it's only 250 miles versus last year was 400 miles. Let's say December 15th, 2021 to December 15th. 2020, let's say it was only 300 miles versus 600 miles for one hole. All of this. All of this is happening. So the length of time fluctuates from your deal. The length of time, <clears throat> well, it may do, but why is this, why are scientists not, why are scientists when they compare this thing? This is what I'm looking for. Why are scientists not able to say that, hey, maybe the ozone layer is recovering if they keep seeing 
lower data points this year versus higher data points comparatively for the same time last year. Does ozone layer steadily grown in size every well? May I'll keep this. The length of time that there was well, that's a real uh, no. This does we're doing a comparison, yeah. Completely banned. <clears throat> CFCs have been completely banned. Well, if anything, this tells you that the scientists are wrong, then. I mean, why do you think they're not recovering? If anything, this tells you that this says the ozone should, is recovering. CFCs have been banned. And the ozone layer is recovering, becoming smaller compared to last year's. So CFCs are working. Weather pattern, then, aha, uh -huh. yeah, this has to be it, it has to be D. Something is strange this year. It's D, human re retained the industry for 70 to 100 years. It has to be D, yeah, it's D.